everyone, I'm Jenny Clary and I'm your Transformational Nutrition Coach and today I want to talk about wonder and awe and this is going to be following the book Thrive by Adriana Huffington. She is the co-founder of the Huffington Post. If you guys want to find out more about the book a day, check out the links down below. So um, I immediately turned to the section of the book and it was called Wonder. And it starts with this quote saying, Men go forth to wonder at the heights of mountains, the extents of the oceans, and the courses of the stars, and omit to wonder at themselves. Saint Augustine. And I thought this was so beautiful and I knew that I had to read this chapter because this is what I'm all about. Um, I definitely <laughs> would wonder and want to travel and go to all these amazing places, um, but I failed to really know who I was and what, you know, and explore that and have that as an amazing adventure, you know. And so when I was reading into it, um, Adriana shared this really beautiful poem about, um, I mean, about nature. And this is why I love nature. And uh, the poem is by Albert Huff, Huffstickler. So it says, we forget we are mostly water till the rain falls and every atom in our body starts to go home. I feel like I need to re-say that again because <laughs> I kind of messed up. We forget we are mostly water till the rain falls and every atom in our body starts to go home. I thought that was amazing because that's how I feel when I go back to nature. And this is the power of nature and why I'm always like try to connect back with nature. Sometimes it doesn't happen because of this. And I love how she puts it. Countless things in our daily lives can awaken the almost constant state of wonder we knew as children. But sometimes to see them, we must look through a different set of eyes. The triggers are there, but are we present enough to experience this? So having this constant state of awareness, because a lot of times we're just checking out every single day and we're just going through life like as zombies. So if we have more of this awareness built in, we're able to you know, enjoy life more, feel more fulfilled, you know, and get the pleasures in life and the cravings that we want, what we truly want, what we truly hunger in life. And so um, I love how she talks about this, you know, and how, you know, sometimes as scientists, sometimes we're so logical and on our methods. And I love how she's like, our proud scientific age is rooted in wonder. Men were first led to the study of philosophy, wrote Aristotle, as indeed they are today by wonder. So, you know, everything in life is because of this wonder that we naturally just want to know about. And I... And then she kind of goes on because I think a lot of times, sometimes we don't really explore who we are because of maybe what we grew up and experienced through religion and stuff like that. So I love how she talks about this. At the root of our secular age is the fatal error that has led us to regard organized religion and the spiritual truth that man embodies as one and the same thing. This has caused millions to deny the reality of the latter because they have rejected the former, the impulse to know ourselves, which after all is a key component of spiritual seeking, is as deeply imprinted within us as our instincts for survival, sex, and power. And I love this because I think a lot of times 
we're all spiritual. <laughs> we are at our deepest core spiritual beings, yet we label like only certain people are spiritual. There's definitely, um, I really do believe we have certain pillars that we are more in tune with. So people who are in business are more in tune to their wealth pillar. But that doesn't make them bad, you know, or more people are in tune into their health pillar or, you know, their spiritual pillar, you know. So in that aspect, you can be more in tune to that and be kind of resonating with that field more. But in all of those areas, you need to be balanced. Like a balanced life is what we need, right? And we don't have. So just bringing this back of this wonder, knowing yourself and digging into your spiritualness because and not t holding on to these limiting beliefs that it's like this organized religion. It means Christianity. It means all this other stuff, other stuff, because even within Christianity or Buddhism or all those other religions, it's going back to knowing yourself, having faith in yourself, and building those core beliefs, you know, and finding out and discovering all of that. So it's really beautiful. We are all spiritual beings and we wonder about this and the universe and nature helps us get back to discovering that. So I just wanted to talk about that real quick. I thought it was a really beautiful little gold nuggets. It's stuff that I already knew, but I love when you read how other people word things, you know, because it triggers and gets your mind thinking other ways and opens to the possibility of other ways of creativity. <laughs> I'm like thinking that word in my head and I'm like, that's not what I want to say, but I still need to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just creativeness, you know, and thinking differently and being able to explore different ways. So really being open every time you open a book and not thinking in your set ways. I already know this. I already know this, you know, and seeing beautiful ways of describing it. Like I love that poem that she shared because it's so funny how just sometimes when you connect with nature and you just touch the elements, like whether it be water or the air and you breathe it in, you just get this new renewal. It's really beautiful. So anyways, I should stop talking there. And yeah, check out this book, Thrive, and find your own gold nuggets. Maybe this wasn't a gold nugget for you, but I promise any book you find, you will naturally be guided to what you need to read at that moment. And don't feel bad if it doesn't happen. You're going to be practicing that skill to be finding, you know, what works for you and trusting your intuition more. So it's a really cool practice. Like, it's really weird. It's not just reading a book, but it's also finding out and discovering what you need at the moment, who you are, tapping into your intuition. So there's all these skills getting into it. Um, so that was a side note. And I just wanted to hear what you guys thought about wonder or this spiritual seeking. Do you think everyone's a spiritual being or do you think that's just me trying to like push my beliefs on you? I'm really curious to know, but I honestly honestly and truly believe that we all are spiritual beings and uh, to really need to explore that because in the es essence of it, it's just knowing who you are and do you know who you are? I would love, I'm throwing all these questions at you, but communicate with me, connect with me. I would love to discuss more on this topic. If you have any questions, you can always leave it down below or you can send me an email at connect at jennyclay.net Always please like, like, like my video if you like it and subscribe to my channel. It's all about the fulfilled life through mind, body, and spirit. Last but not least, I would love for you to love yourself <laughs> because a lot of times we're just so mean, we're so rude, and so to check it before you wreck it because a lot of times we wreck ourselves so bad and we have to go back and, you know, work through that drama, through that mess, okay, through that garbage, and that's what I'm doing right now, and I've been cleaning and cleaning and cleaning, so 
you know, prevention is key. All right. So you're awesome. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.